So October has come to an end, and last month's Resident Evil Showcase really gave us a bunch of new stuff to talk about when it comes to Resident Evil 4 Remake. That's stuff that I've been covering, other channels have been covering, but there's one thing that only certain big name channels and other websites got, and that was a hands-on 20-minute demo of Resident Evil 4 Remake, something we haven't gotten yet, but there is some stuff to talk about that includes Jack Krauser. A few details have been reported about the intro of the game, and one of them is that Jack Krauser is spotted for a second in the intro, a character with blonde hair and a beret, possibly training Leon. This was a very brief moment, but it apparently was there. This is something that shows us fans that he is in fact not cut, and Capcom is planning on keeping him hidden as we get more into the promotion of Resident Evil 4 Remake in the upcoming months. I personally really want to see Krauser in this remake, and of course they can make him more developed and really show the history between him and Leon, and even show references to Operation Javier, which was their last mission on the books together. It would be really cool to see them reference that and to also clue new fans in that might not have any idea who Jack Krauser is. Let's not forget that Krauser plays a major role in kidnapping Ashley in the original. This is something we could see happen in the beginning of the game. We do see multiple shots of Ashley running scared through the woods. Now this can either still happen by the hands of Krauser, or maybe something else this time around. I think playing as Ashley in the beginning and seeing it go down from her perspective and some kind of cinematic to follow it would be very effective. The one thing fans are talking about as far as the gameplay is the brand new parry system worked in with Leon's knife, which is the same knife from Resident Evil 2 Remake this time around. This brought up the Leon and Krauser knife fight. With the new feature, there is a great chance that Krauser's fight will be in this game, but with the parry system as your defense, instead of the quick time event within the cutscenes. Even during Krauser's final form, they can still have us use the knife heavily for our defense, so make sure you keep that knife upgraded and polished at all times. There was a lot of confusion around this topic of Jack Krauser in Resident Evil 4 Remake ever since the June showcase earlier this year, Ever since that showcase, it's just been downhill with just a bunch of leaks and a bunch of, you know, misleading titles, stuff that is not true, stuff that is false, channels that are putting this out as fact, channels that are gaining growth because of these false leaks. And it is what it is because at the end of the day, people are going to see right through it. And when stuff like this comes out, when we see that he's actually included in the game, obviously we don't see it firsthand, but we actually hear from several content creators that got their hands on this thing that it is in fact in there uh it really does just deflate that whole you know the whole bubble of leaks just right there because it really shows that some people just want to instantly believe everything they see online and instantly believe all the leaks that are happening and who's cut and what's going on but in reality Capcom is just showing less of, you know, the big parts of the game that they want us to see. I don't think they would show Krauser right away, and they might not even show him in the upcoming trailers that we get or gameplay. Who knows? I mean, they really want to show this game is going to be accurate to what we know for Resident Evil 4. They want to show that they're not cutting out content and stuff like that and i'm sure they heard the fan response after resident evil 3 remake even though again i personally have gone on record to say i like resident evil 3 remake even though i still see the stuff that they took out of it but i think the whole fear of stuff getting cut out obviously we haven't seen the game yet but it looks like that this is going to be a promise that they're going to be fulfilling but that's the thing with a big game like resident evil 4 remake is that a lot of press people usually get a chance to have a hands-on demo this usually happens with any big title and of course they start seeing stuff that we didn't see they start talking about stuff that we didn't see because they got the hands-on exclusive and uh that's what made a lot of these videos and a lot of the topics that we're talking about a little bit more fun to dive into now because we have solid proof and solid stuff to talk about with screenshots and trailers and there's more to go off of instead of just pulling off you know leak headlines just to get a quick view or a buck uh, it just doesn't really make sense to me so it's one of those things where I'm happy we're seeing Resident Evil 4 where it is now I'm happy with what we've seen and I can't wait to see Jack Krauser make a return and let me know down in the comments what you think of Jack Krauser and the improvements they can make. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. And stay tuned as the road to Resident Evil 4 Remake continues.